Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscriptions, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got one of the really fun subscriptions that I open here on the channel. It is the Blend Box, which honestly doesn't actually really fit into any of the categories that I always list in the beginning of my videos. It's it's a little bit more fun and whimsical and even a novelty subscription, but it's also very budget friendly. It has gone up in price just a little bit, so now it's $28.45 per month. That does include your shipping. And obviously, as with most subscription boxes, if you do a subscription that's a little bit longer, like three months or more, you're gonna save a little bit per month. And I also have some codes for you to use, of course. So if you do the three month or longer subscription, then you can use the code NOEL to save $5. Or if you just want to go month to month and that's understandable, then you can use the code NOEL2 and that will save you $2 off of your first box. Now it's a really cool concept as well because you get to pick your own themes. So basically when you first subscribe to the blend box, you go through this little checklist and you check off all the themes that sound good to you. You actually get to pick your first month's theme and then it's always going to be a surprise, but it's always only going to be those pre-selected themes. And then you get eight fun items in your box, but you have the opportunity to get more than eight items. So then you go into the Facebook group and then you got to get it to customize your preferences. So it's all kinds of questions. It's like what your favorite colors are, your favorite jewelry tones, your favorite jewelry styles. You get to tell her all kinds of things so that she can curate a box that you're really going to enjoy. And then like I said, you have the opportunity to get extra items in your box depending on if you write a review or you participate in fun little questions that she has in the Facebook group or you post your favorite item from your last box. So there's definitely people who are always getting more than eight items in their boxes and definitely upping their value. Do remember though, this is really a fun box. It would be fun to share with a teenager or a kid depending on your preferences. It's not like one of those super sophisticated high-end retail lifestyle boxes, which I also open on the channel. But I really, really, really enjoy it just because it's fun to see all of the different items and kind of get an idea of the different things that could appear in the same themed box. So even if I get a llama box and one of you gets a llama box, we could have totally, totally different items depending on our preferences. Now I will say that this box is sent to me for review and I also do some photos for Nick uh, for Instagram. So there are going to probably be well over eight items in this box, again, just to give you an idea of the kinds of items that you could get in this particular theme. So without further ado, I think I got through everything. Let's get in here and see so it's just got this little ticket on the top and it just tells us a little bit about uh, how you can win those bonus items. It has all of the themes listed and then she just highlighted uh, which themes I've already gotten. So I have already gotten the Easter box and then also I got the mermaid box and it looks like this time I got the beach box. So probably pretty similar vibes to the mermaid box. But as you know, I do kind of consider like beach boxes one of my like niche within a niches here on the channel just because I did grow up in Hawaii. I live in Southern California. So I love that sort of like beach lifestyle uh, kind of theming. Um, some nice blue tissue paper to go with it. And then if I didn't mention already, you guys, she is also very, very flexible. Sometimes we just run a little bit low on funds. So instead of canceling your subscription, which is a big pet peeve of subscription box owners, you can always just skip a month or she can push your bill date back. So she always includes a little sheet in there to remind you of that. Um, so always know you can text her and just postpone if you need to, which is great. All right. So inside, I do definitely have quite a few items. So let's see what we've got. The first one is, it looks, this is pretty actually. So this actually looks like it could be in one of my like higher end lifestyle boxes. It's a little votive candle holder and it's just got these really pretty seashells along the outside. At first I thought it was a shot glass, but the reason that I know that it is a votive candle holder for a little tea light is because inside were these really pretty matches. I love this little seahorse design and I love like nice um, match boxes like this. So that's a cute item. I like that a lot and it's definitely very like grown up, which is awesome. And then we've got some fun jewelry. 
I like these a lot. Now I'm usually a gold tones girl, but I get how like with beach boxes, you get a lot more like silver because it looks so great. Um, so some fun anchor earrings and I like dangly earrings. And so I like these. And some of you guys know if you watched my like 1K Q&A, my dad is a boat captain. He's got a big anchor tattoo on his arm. So I definitely love being out on the water. So in terms of a beach box and those beach vibes, these anchors are great for for me and I just think they would be really fun if you were going on vacation or even on a cruise. I know I, people are very have mixed feelings about cruises. I, I personally like them. I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be a while before I get to go on another one though. Um, and then we've got this fun like foot um, decoration I guess accessory I've always like seen these in like uh, beach stores but never gotten one um, I don't know that I would have personally like chosen the like pearl look but I could definitely see it looking good on your feet and just having that added added touch of style now she probably wanted me to like uh, model this but I have some not great looking toenails at the moment so you probably won't see this modeled over on Instagram but it is a pretty piece um, and maybe I'll try it you never know I could get adventurous especially because I'm not really going anywhere so I could just wear it on my deck <laughs> all right let's see this is super cute I have no idea what it is it says it's a lemon sachet but it looks like a sugar packet, but it's got like a little crab on it, which I think is cute. I wonder if you're just supposed to put it like in your drawer. It doesn't really like smell through the paper, so I'll have to like ask, but I don't want to like open it up just in case it's like loose in there because it sounds like like powder. Maybe it's like for a bath. I'm not really sure. I'll have to ask, but there it is. But I do think it's really cute that it's got a little crab on it. And then we've got some fun like fashion sunglasses. So. These are always like sunglasses you guys are like the hardest thing to um, photograph for Instagram because the reflection so otherwise you wind up you often wind up with a photo of yourself taking a photo of yourself but I do like this like ombre blue so it goes from blue to clear they're like transition um, I don't think they'd really work as sunglasses these are like more like rave glasses that you would wear just to uh, kind of keep people from seeing you but um, I think they're pretty fun actually <laughs> I think those are actually kind of fun. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like these. All right. Thanks, Nick. All right. We got, okay, now we've got some cuticle oil and it is in the scent of coconut, which my cuticles could definitely use that. I have been pretty good about like doing my nails, but I don't do like the whole like manicure thing. So my cuticles could definitely use some love just so I can soften them up and push them back. Although the nail salons are starting to open back up here in uh, San Diego. So I'm looking forward to getting in there and getting getting some help. So I'll definitely hold on to that. And I love that it's in the scent of coconut. That's one of my favorite scents year round, not just in the summer. And then we've got another jewelry piece. And this is like a sparkly green Nautilus shell. So let me show you that. That's pretty. Again, it's in silver. So I'm not sure that I would use it. But again, I think I could maybe use it like just as a fun accent, I have so much jewelry now from all these different subscriptions and I kind of love it. So I do actually think that's really pretty. And then, oh, this is cute. So we got a little um, patch. That's fun. And it's just, it's an embroidered patch with some palm trees and some like ferns and it looks like it is an iron-on patch which I do really like now I do have a lot of patches and pins from subscriptions so I'm going to have to figure out I think I have like a denim jacket maybe I'll just like start adding random flair to it um, but maybe I'll also like wait in fact so I can actually arrange things exactly as they should be and then these are cute and definitely great and kind of sophisticated. Some reusable, not reusable, these are disposable. These are paper straws, which normally can't stand paper straws, but um, good to have, especially if you are having a party. And I love these. They're like navy with little anchors. That's super cute. So if you're having some people over, you could have some fancy cocktails. Cool. 
or if you were going on a boat then you could actually feel okay about this because if for some reason they blow overboard you're not going to be hurting the marine life it's still not great to litter but just in case it happened you could still be fancy with your cocktails on the boat and then she did she did include some like fun seashells for me which is awesome that I can use for some flat lays and stuff and I have a bunch of seashells of course from life's a wave which is one of my other favorite beach boxes we've got a little little box here I wonder if there's actually anything in it sometimes she just gives me some fun stuff to use for display but there is so that's cool you guys we got like all the jewelry things I got a necklace some earrings and then this pretty awesome ring that I have to figure out how to pull out and it even came in like a cute gift box so this is fun let me put this on this is a fun like octopus tentacle ring let me take off this gold one so it doesn't compete it is a little big on this middle finger so maybe i mean i could wear it on my thumb that's kind of cool that looks kind of that looks kind of cool actually right on my thumb but it is open right so it's definitely adjustable and this is like one of those fun things that I wouldn't necessarily pick out for myself, but it's kind of a fun treat to get in a box. So there you go. That's neat. I like that. It makes me think of Pirates of the Caribbean and like the Kraken that comes out of the water. Uh, let's see. And then we've got some ultra dark tanning bronzer. So it says it's a lotion. So I wonder if it's to help you actually tan in the sun or if it just has a tint in it. So let's see. It says apply immediately before tanning. So it's a little bit of a tanning oil, but then it also says clean hands after use to avoid discoloration. So it must have some tint in it as well. Um, so there we go. I used to use the um, Maui Babe browning lotion, which had a little bit of tint, smelled like coffee, and it totally worked. Have to be careful since I haven't been out in the sun very much, but I could definitely use that to up my tanning game since it's been a little bit slow oh i was hoping i was gonna get a my 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 cute little starfish clip that i got in the mermaid box like i was just pulling my hands through my hair and it like popped off the off the clip but she gave me another little clip and you guys know that i love these it's one of those little like um foam clay flowers of plumeria but i do like the little one i usually have like bigger ones you know so it actually looks like a plumeria but i like this little one so that's so cute i'll have to like and then i still have the starfish for the other clips so i'll just have to like get out some super glue um great stuff and then let's see i've got a couple more things oh this is awesome this is like a vintage postcard this is so cool, you guys. I love this. This is like a vintage postcard. It says Ki'i Hawaii on it. It's the Hawaiian Village Hotel in Waikiki. I think that's so cool. It looks like an actual photograph. Like this is like what the photographs in my parents' albums look like. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I don't know that you would probably get this in your box, but I, I think she just added it for me because she knows that I'm from Hawaii. All right, and then finally, we got a fun pillowcase, which actually this kind of like matches um, the mermaid pillowcase that I got in the other box, but this has a fun seahorse. So I could totally see that looking great on somebody's like porch or if you have that kind of beachy vibe going. We have some like tiki style pillows, but not really in this particular color, but I do like this. It's very soft. It's just white on the back. You could definitely have this out for summer. Um, I like that it's got like a little bit of coral here with that little starfish, but it's pretty cute, right? It looks like a little watercolor. I can totally see this going out in someone's patio on their like furniture. So pretty good items, you guys. Like obviously, like I said, it's not like a super high end like boutique-y um, box, but I did get some pretty nice items that I feel like could feel like that. For example, the little votive holder I think is really awesome. I thought all the jewelry was really fun. I especially like those anchor earrings. I think these are actually pretty sophisticated. If you're going to have disposable paper straws, then they might as well be navy blue with fun anchors on them. Um, I think the cuticle oil is probably going to be awesome. Nick actually told me she like swears by it. And the other stuff is just kind of fun stuff to have for summer. Definitely a good theme to get 
for summer. Let me know what you guys think about it. Definitely check the blend box out. And like I said, you can save a couple bucks. Um, really flexible with your billing date so you can get a little bit of fun and whimsy in your life. And other than that, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and to see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.